and see if we can get the first winner of the season. It's also your first game. I see you can choose where we land when we get out of the bus. I've explored most of the map, apart from a tiny bit at the top right. Quite disappointed in the map though, because a lot of it's just blimp over a POI and that's it. I think blue is the seven, because so the sanctuary in Jones is. And red is the IO, and red seem to be winning. But I assume through the season we're going to see the two factions kind of changing with the red and blue sides. I do hear gliders, I didn't think about the fact that this place is also new and will have a lot of people. I've landed at our usual spot, like where we used to land. He's landed on a blimp, okay. Oh, I've got the crappy dust. I think glizzy juices are gone. You get floppers in those weird little freezes instead now. I've been marked. Oh, Ronin won't be here! I forgot about that. I think it might still be, yeah, it looks like the same place as before, but there's a big door thing over here now. If that is. Yeah, it's a G U N N A R. The boss man. Oh, I can't build again. Uh, he has the same SMG. I thought he would have had something cooler. Well, at least when Stone was there twice, he had a different one each time. I've got the key card. I'm gonna head over to the vault and see if the vault's changed. Oh my god, Marshmallow! Okay, Marshmallow's dead. I assume the vault's gonna be the same. Oh, I got built. I was gonna build here to, to <laughs> like make sure we can't get shot. But yeah, I can't build here. All well, the supply drops here are camo as well. All the supply drops are camo large. Yeah, no one need launcher. So gold auto shotgun if you want. I have 63 ammo, so I guess it is worth not carrying anymore. I've gone in the toilet. It seems to be pretty similar. I assume the llama is not a thing anymore. Yes. No free llamas anymore. Let's see. Just gonna drop a tree on their head then. They don't. What? Did the tree just hit you? They're not a worry anymore. Uh, oh, I just tried building. Found Spider Man, you're so last season. Yikes. Oh, C4, nice. Oh, yeah, throw a mini. I didn't think about that. That'll be a legacy. Yeah, I forgot if you can sprint and jump, you do like a bigger jump. Apparently, the base movement speed is slightly quicker than it was before as well. It's not something I've really noticed, but apparently it is quicker. Let me see if I can jump up here. Yeah, damn! Oh, mantle onto a ledge within three seconds of sprinting. So if you sprint and then double tap jump onto this roof, it will do a quest for you three times. Yeah, uh, quest done. I'm wondering whether all this is still going to be in the game once building comes back, though. Especially the overshield. I feel like the sprinting and stuff will, but I'm, the overshield does intrigue me. Clombos have been vaulted as well. But apparently they're rumoured to be returning. Yeah, as I can hear. And I can't really get back up. I don't know what to do. I can't get up there. Did you get them? Oh, you got, you got two of them. Okay, well I tried, like, jumping on a web to get up, but it didn't really work. The shield makes a slightly different noise on the overshield thing as well. And all the guns that have first shot accuracy go back to it a lot smoother. There's people on the edge of uh, the old IO base thing, whatever it's been over there. They mean to ping the truck, but there are people there. Garden. This used to be our spot right here. At the start of last season. See you hiding. I've just destroyed somebody. Also, when you kill people, like the eliminated text at the bottom is all like italics. I've just cracked somebody else here. Yeah, I see. 
I've run out of tactical sprint lanes. You have to. Oh no, the Zio people here. Oh, they're fighting somebody else. Oh my god, they're in a tank. Okay. Um. Yeah, I am. Don't go towards me, whatever you do. <laughs> there's tanks and there's Io guards. Oh crap, somebody else there as well. There's a duo on this hill. No, don't try and build. Stop. Got him. I keep trying to build. It's really annoying me. I hear a car as well. It's not even an upgraded car. How pathetic. There's only one person in that car. This person's been hit for 50. Yeah. Uh, this person was hit for 50, and the thermal's really hot to see them when everything's on fire, because everything's hot. Uh, they... it's like a med mist for cars. Did this person die? Yeah, this person must have died. There was one guy left then. Two guys left then. <laughs> Very far off. Oh, you can't see the thermal through the bush, that's a little You could buy flipping launch pads from Mancake, but you can't even place them. That's not fair, there's a vehicle behind him. Uh, I've hit one for quite a lot of overshoot, we're okay. I'm not really sure what to do, I can't hide. Like, build. Throw it down and then you can detonate it. Ooh. Somebody's on me. No! Where are you? There you are. Come on, there's one further back now. You got this. You, or you could try and res behind the tree, maybe that, that's what they're gonna do. No, they're coming up. There, they're coming around the street. No, yeah, they're, they're behind, 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 behind. I can't. Nah, that was my bad. I got in your way and told you to res. So, after that tragic defeat, I have three replays to show you. Um, I'll go into more detail after this, but the action actually starts pretty quickly. So, you know, here we are. I've landed at a sign-up station doing some quests, I believe. And as you can see, I'm already in a fight, and I take her down. But unfortunately, my mother has also gone down. I see the person that's knocked her there. Um, if you see that I'm taking shield damage without any shield or anything, just remember, it's over shield, it just doesn't show up in the replay. Also, damn, that's some pretty good shots there, and she is also gone. Wow. Um, and I'm being shot again! Oh my god! And... Pow, dead. Easy. Um, this was actually not on the first day of the season. I think this was like the day after the start of the season. But as you can see, here's my mum's perspective of being knocked. Um, as you can see, tragically goes down. Um, so I go for the res and have to do that. Another person comes in. Whoa, down again. Go for the res again. <laughs> um, you can see the scientist walking around there. Um, I've already got two kill three kills, and I see somebody else in the distance. <gasps> I shoot them once. I slide down the hill, and I'd finish them off. You're probably going to notice throughout, actually, that um, I slowly get more used to, like, the tactical sprint and stuff as the season goes on. But as you can see, I find a funding station with an armoured battle bus at 99.99%. This was the day the armoured battle bus came out. I hadn't seen it yet and I put all my gold in hoping it would spawn because I'm pretty sure that's what happened with the mechs if you were there when it was completed. The mech would spawn there back in chapter 2 season 8 but unfortunately that did not happen. Very very sad. No battle bus for me. Um, I see my mum <laughs> just looking at the weird banana of minis. It's quite funny. I just pick up two stacks of minis. 
but no battle bus this game unfortunately um so we carry on looting now we have three games here we have this one here which is my first win of the season we have the next game which is just really funny and i got lots of kills but unfortunately did not win then we have the third game which is actually my first crown win of the season which is also a duro game um so we get some of the truck barrel things there and while we're the truck and we are heading to the storm eye i think we did a quest there you know that's why we landed here to begin with wow um so we're actually driving somewhere soon as to another quest um if you're watching this in the future you gotta remember this was when no build um so uh, it's no build at the moment actually as i am doing this voiceover and assume the same day i upload this um no build was no sorry building modes were supposed supposed to i can't talk Building modes were supposed to come back two days ago. They just haven't. There seems to be issues with it, so we're still stuck on no build. But I don't mind. I actually really enjoyed no build. Um, go back down and see the flipping vaults don't even work anymore. That is annoying. Because there are chests in there. You can hear them, like, IO chests making the weird, like, mm, noises. But, yeah, no. You can't enter the vaults, unfortunately. Very sad. Um... Yeah, go search supply drops. It's been very quiet for a while. However, we do see people here um, shooting at them there. Running, they're running, everybody's running. Um, I don't know why I went that way because there's nothing over that way. <laughs> but I just turn around and see the car. Rail it quite a lot actually. I think I might have popped on the tyres and it gets stuck on a fence. So I was able to get a lot of shots from there. And take down the car. Um, and that is one down, two down. See my mum's perspective here because she got a knock as well. See, it's the car, she gets 50 damage on each play from both car, but that would have literally just been over. She wants nothing about it. It's kind of cringe. And pal, they are dead again because you saw that twice. <coughs> wow. Um. So yeah, Guaco was walking around with a pickaxe or a gun or something. He was being very strange. He must have got lost from his route. Um, also, as I'm rec uh, recording this, I've just had finished with my first time ever having COVID. Oh, there's a loot chicken there. I forgot, right? I thought loot chickens were only added for the wild week at the end of the last season. Apparently not. They still exist, so that's quite cool. I think they're quite rare, though, because that's literally the only one I've seen other than one during the wild week from last season, but apparently they still exist. I thought that was pretty cool, you know. So we get supply drop number two. But yeah, as I was saying, I had COVID for the first time last week, and I've only just had my two in a row positive tests today. No longer have COVID. So that was weird how I've gone like three, two, three years at this point without having it. Finally it happened, and I was most completely asymptomatic, so that was funny. I don't know why I felt the need to mention that, but I got another kill there. I want eight kills, my mum's on a kill. I've got a decent amount here, and there's another person in the water. SMG spray them. I'm pretty sure that was a bot, but it's still another kill nonetheless. Wow. Um, there's we are walking around looking for more more kills and stuff. Um, this is still early on, so I still have the weird habit of trying to build, even though I can't build. And I also aren't as used to having the tactical sprint or anything. And even as I'm recording this now, after it's been like over a week since the start of the season, I keep forgetting I can climb. I always forget climbing is a thing. Um, also, something I wanted to notice is that the average Fortnite game... Oh, wait. This is the last people. We'll mention this after in the next week, I think. Yes. These people go down. I my bloom there was messing me up, but I do get to one. The other one gets taken out by another player. So it is just us left. Um see a little gold loot crow as well. Wowzers. I don't remember what the loot crow dropped. Looks like a pump, so I don't care. The pumps are whack. So there's a last second last play down, sorry, and pow, last player. First win of the season. Um but as I was gonna say, right, so for the whole length of a Fortnite game, the last storm I fully closes at 22 minutes into a Fortnite game. My average game's around 18 to 20 minutes. This replay was 15 minutes and 45 seconds. 
why was this game so short? That's so weird. I don't know what. It was just a really short game for some reason. Just thought that was worth mentioning. But as you can see here is the perspective of my mum getting the win as she is the one who got the final kill there. Pow, victory royale, first of the season again. Here is the win umbrella. Right here, the gun umbrella. It's alright. We've had better, but it's not. Yeah, it's kind of bad. <laughs> Anyway, we landed back here again. This is literally the very next game, because I wanted to see if the battle bus was out. So, I've spoken to the scientist. It's like some real deja vu here. Landed at literally the same spot of, of the building, I believe. But as you can see, I've been shot in the back. Oh dear. Luckily, I take dust down. I know oh it did come up saying... It didn't come up with the numbers saying I shot them, even though I did, which was weird at the end, but... I was the one who got it, apparently, even though I wasn't showing numbers like that. So, 2 3 there. I am getting on. I believe that was Kakashi Hataki. He's a bot this season. <coughs> um, sorry about that. But, pow. Three down already. Got to the early kills. Um, so, you know, walking around. Looking for that battle bus because I remember being on the outside of a building. My mum found it, and here it is the armored battle bus. Pow! This is amazing. Um, the first time this actually the first and only time I've used them, I just never see them around anywhere. So, it's literally the only time I've used them so far. Also, little thing you actually get out where the door is. I don't know if that was a weird coincidence or whether it's just a thing, but you get out where the door is. Look, um. Yeah, I just never see these anywhere. And so this is literally the only time I've ever used one. And the first time I've ever used one. But here is the armed battle bus. My mum's testing out the cannons on it. You also have the turret at the back. It was very interesting. It's fun. That's all I care about. The vehicles this season are fun. Either the tanks are frust frustrating as hell to fight against. But as you can see, I ran somebody over there for 100. Like, threw a building. Like, it's insane. Um... A lot easier to control than the tanks, except they're not as beefy. It's like a smaller version of the tanks, pretty much. Um, so I guess there's probably benefits to both, but as you can see, I ran that one person over there. And we go head-to-head -head with the tank. We hit into each other, but the tank uh, comes out victorious, as you can see here. Pow. But bus blew up. I've very <laughs> it's clean, by the way. I didn't even hit the floor before getting in that tank. Um, unfortunately, my mum gets run over by the tank, which is annoying, so I hop out to kill them, realise they're not even in the driver's seat anymore, because they got out as well, and I take them down. My mum is crawling on a cactus. Okay. <laughs> um, Rez gets the tank. It's ours now at half health, but never fear, we do have repair torches in the game now, so we go and use that in a moment, after shielding up. Um... I do that, and then my mum's like, oh, this is one quest, so she finishes it off, I believe. Uh, I know, I think I did it all, then realised it didn't count for the quest after it was already done, so... My bad, brother, but I also need to do it for my quest at this point. Um, we're in the storm. Let's drive out of the storm. So the horn sounds very really fun, sped up to me, I don't know why. Now, the targeting, you might have noticed that is messed up when I was in play mode. The thermal doesn't work. Um... Aiming it zooms in, but it doesn't zoom in like down scope. Like if the tank is kind of in the way, like sideways on a hill, all you'd see is the tank on the replay. And in the actual game, I just see them on the full scope. Uh, also, you might notice some buildings like this one just not loading in at all. It seems to be a weird issue with replay mode um, at the moment of the season. In the past, places not loading in has meant the have been changed or destroyed. So you never know. I mean, I doubt it is this time because it's like so many different places. But you know, if they get destroyed, you have to go first. I think Curly Crossroads was one of them in that blue house, and I think there might be a bit of time Just saying. Um, we've seen more actual plays. I get a double tag there. Damn. And even zoomed in the 35. I think you can do 35, 70, and because I could do it or something, depending on how accurate you shot. So, as you can see, I've run one person over. It's all a bit hectic or inside a building. You can't see what's going on because the replay is broken. It doesn't matter how much you load it, by the way. When these buildings stay unloaded, it's very annoying. But I do manage to take this duo down. Um, the thermal scope day out, also kind of weird on replay. It works, you can see the thermal effect. But players don't show up because, like, they just have the regular 
thermal script colour scheme instead of coming up white. But for the most part it works, so you can tell enough what's going on really. It's not like the tanks all these weird unloaded buildings that we're unfortunately getting here. Um, yes, yeah, so that is another player down there, and another player behind this wall. I was about to say invisible wall, but the opposite. Oh, it was another drift, you say? Wow. It was another drift. Get some another play here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Literally all I've done this game is stomp with tanks or spray people with SMGs and it's honestly kind of a vibe, I'm not going to lie. I, w I, w I wouldn't like to be on the other end of it as much, but being the one in the tank, it's just a vibe. Especially if there's more than one person. One person in the tank is awkward, but if you have more than one person, it's so good. Also, the tanks take like ages to fill up for some reason, so that's a thing. Also, I didn't notice till now as well. The tank was just reversing this whole time. <laughs> that's funny. Um, there's another play here, I blow them up one shot, and my mum finishes gunning them down. What was it? My mum didn't, maybe the kill- oh yeah, the kill was stolen by this person over here. Pow, we're gonna bop the Lexa, she will die as well. By being ran over, because brutal. Oh, very brutal. Um, yeah, we're heading over the bridge, and we see people on the hill. And running up there. The accuracy on the tank is horrible, but it's so hard to aim with. <laughs> I don't think I hit any of those shots, but then realize there's people in the bush behind us, so wham. 17.35. The tank is going down. I think somebody hopped on the tank here. So I was like, oh, I'm not risking that. I'm going to hop off. The biggest mistake of my life. <laughs> the reason why I hop off this tank. Oh, sorry, the reason why we died is because I hopped off the tank and they ended up having full control of it killing me, even though I had 14 kills. Very sad. This time we landed Command Cavern, because there was a cannon here, and Mama had a quest to launch out of the cannon. I think I already did it, though, at this point. So, yes. Um, we land here, so I don't really think we loot up very much here. Um, I scan this, and I do want to point out, with this one, but especially the one in the bottom, you see so much of it, and it's just kind of cool looking. Look at all this stuff. I just found that really cool, just wanted to throw that out there. If you go to the one at the bottom, then there's like all that stuff. I think it's kind of cool at the top as well, if I remember correctly, but it's just the bottom one's so much better. <laughs> um, so we go to this, oh, we end up, yeah, we end up moving cannon because my mum fell down by accident. So I was asking my mum how many meters we needed so I could launch us, so I could put a marker on a place uh, where we could both go to when there's actually stuff and it's enough distance. Just planning, you know, because you can actually line it up. And there's like little marker things on the aim thing. You can line it up and so you can land straight on your markers. And this is where we chose because there's a couple of chests and stuff. And I believe a tank. Oh no, a car. <laughs> Bit different, but okay. So yeah, we're just driving along. I believe we're going to Tilted for another quest. Oh, but we see something on the way. Swiftly take them down. Speaking of the SMG, the Combat SMG and the Stinger SMG have both been nerfed today as I am doing this voiceover, which is probably the same day I am uploading it. If not, it will be uploaded a day later. Also, I'll throw that out, down, that, throw that out there. They do less damage. I'm pretty sure the range has been reduced and the Combat SMG headshots have also been reduced. So that's actually a decent nerf. Same with the MK, even though it's not in because there's going to be in the voting uh, stations later on this season. Just like two less damage for every rarity, which is kind of crazy. But as you can see, there's somebody else here. It's the uh, Eldorad. No, not Eldorad. <laughs> the back bling. The Chaplin. The Colorado guy. That's it. Uh, I test C4 on the Irish tank. So I've heard about it being uh, like 12 times damage. Um, two of them hit. It's alright. I think you need like four to kill it on a tank. But with cars and battle buses, I don't think you'd really have much issue issue using C4, but we do also have the anvil cannon thing, whatever it's called, in game now. Uh, this was before that, I believe, though. But yeah, it's worth keeping in mind. Also, as I was shooting the eye guard, you might have noticed I accidentally shot somebody in the background. That is because there was a fight over here, which I end up going to help mop up. Um, because, yeah, the fight ended and I shot the people that won. So I get a beam there, and my mum actually manages to get to the kill with a little bit of replay lag. We love replay lag. We don't really. It's annoying. Um, so we're taking their loot. Very nice. Um, <coughs> God, I've been talking for a long time now. 
Um, I use the blowtorch thing, whatever it's called, to heal up our tank. It looks like some fire on the replay wasn't. That was a weird replay glitch. Um, the war defenses seem pretty useless against the tanks. But I never normally talk this much. This is like three replays, they usually do like one. And I'm antisocial. Um, you see a person here, I'm blowing the, the tank. My mum is using the turret. But they actually hopped on, so I had to hop off. I don't know why I don't switch seats with turret. That is a bit silly. But I do take them down either way. Oh, I could have lived in that last game if I'd done that, to be fair. That was very silly of me. And they actually had the Mythic SMG there, so I'll take that and heal the tank, and we go. Um, there's a boat there. Don't know why there's a boat on the land here. Very random. <laughs> is that a school trooper? I don't know, I can't see. But we blow up the boat and we chase them. I can't, really can't tell what skin that is. I think it's good. There was like the white style on it, but I think it is. Either way, we chase them for a while before they are ran over. <laughs> Damn, you, nothing you can do with, against tanks without building. When building's back, I don't think there'll be that much of an issue. Um, Unfortunately, if you are in the turret seat, you do have to be careful because you can get shot very easily right at the top and the middle. You are very exposed, so we do learn a bit later on. But I do take out this pink woman, I think it's Harlow she's called. Take her down Harlow and that skin over there, I can't quite see because I'm looking at a small screen while I do the voice Oh my god, okay, I actually nearly died and my mum is knocked. She just got shot off the top of the tank, as I mentioned before. It is very easy to get shot off the top of the tank. Um, I threw med kits over so I could carry a med mist as well. So we could have all the health meds we need. Healed up the tank, though I don't know why, because my plan was to just keep boosting with it to the Stormwire to get as much distance as we can out of it, as well as going like quickly. Just distance quick, quickly. Because then if we got too uh, rocky, we can get to cars. So the tank ran out of fuel there. Get a bounty on the way. Realise campfires are useless in a two tick storm because you can't stoke them. You can only out heal storm in a one tick storm because you can't stoke campfires without builds. But then random vendor machines actually give you like the wood brick and metal sometimes still, which is interesting. Got some earlier, thought that was funny. But as you can see, I barely made it out of the storm. I just drive like to the next storm I find somewhere to hide so we can med up. Very nice. And we head out looking for people i guess i don't fully remember um oh yeah, i had to the blimp this is like bad teammate moment for me i kind of just left my mother behind uh, so i go up here and she gets shot in the back unfortunately very annoyed about myself for just leaving there not gonna lie but she she does a pretty good job of leaving this remember this is like early on so we forgot we could even do the like big tactical sprint um so i've sprayed that Back at full health, she goes down here because she saw some people dropping down. Replay lag, we love that. Shoot somebody a couple of times, um, and unfortunately, everybody decides to show up at the same time. And yeah, she goes down. That, yeah, my bad teammateness. That was my fault. Oopsie poopsie. <laughs> As you can see, while she's down there, I was like shooting the tank and shooting all the people that are down there. This is like during that. There's like so many people around, I'm trying to give aerial support and failing miserably. And I get shot in the back by Ariana flipping a grande. Um, 1 HP, watch this. You know, movements. Oh my god. Don't even know how, but I managed to escape that. They could have easily killed me there. I was 1 HP, and I somehow managed to run away. Double flop and med mist and pick up the reboot card all the good I just I'm still surprised I lived through that I'm not gonna lie and I hop straight in the bin to do a game clip <laughs> um not there very long because I hop out I see people who see they are not hot people they are cold people they don't show up on the thermal in replay god knows what to that car over there I need to realize that this person doesn't realise that tactical sprint in a straight line still means you're going in a straight line. It'll be very easy to get shot, although I do the exact same thing back and run straight out of them. So I guess I can't talk, but I'm pretty sure I thought they went into building. Um, doing this on no shield now. Ooh, like these people are fighting and I'm just like yonking the kills. It's one, there's two. This is where I pick up the crown. This is my first crown win after all. 
<laughs> I just forgot about that bit till now, but yeah, I really, literally just get the crown at the end. Um, I sit in a bush, noble, very noble. And the last duo comes up to me. Pow, 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 symbiote spider vines and the street so is blue far away. And I managed to actually win that, I don't know how. Thank you for watching, if you liked it, cheers. And I'll see you tomorrow if my trio wins. Goodbye.